still slippery. It's still very slippery. You know, we may have had six inches of snow back in February, but this is probably the worst I've seen it in this town since 1978. And that's the advice of the day. If you don't have a four-wheel drive vehicle, just stay at home. I'll never forget that Monday morning. Rachel Platt and I were the first to make it on the air at 5.30 in the morning. But actually, I joined her five minutes late. I had gotten stranded on the way downtown and had to flag down a ride in an SUV. We would be on the air for hours, talking right to Kentuckiana. Now that you're here to rescue your daughter, you can't get back to Indiana. That's right, so somebody's got to rescue me. On the evening of January 16th, 1994, it started to rain and quickly turned to sleet and freezing rain once the colder temperatures moved in. Then it began to snow and snow, and then we heard thunder snow. What are you doing out in this? Stranded, trying to get to work. Me and my brothers are trying to make it to Montford. Have you ever seen it like this before? No, I haven't. Not in my 30 years of living here in Louisville. The average snowfall was around 3 inches per hour, with the total being 15.9 inches. The snow then, it just was amazing how much it paralyzed the city. After the snow stopped falling, it set the record for the most amount of snow in a single day. Roads were impassable for days. The governor shut down highways so that the crews could clear them. Rush hour on I-64. 8.30 in the morning. Beautiful morning. The storm tested the limits and patience of Kentuckians. Looking at live pictures from the Belvedere, Kentuckiana is in the midst of a major snowstorm. There are some cars trying to come up the Second Street Bridge. Folks, don't do that. The only way to get around was by walking. In fact, here at WHAS-TV, we all lived in downtown hotels for days so we could walk to the TV station. Today. Where are you guys going? We're trying hospital. to get to the University Hospital. The storm closed schools and businesses. My husband was off work for a week. His plant shut down. I was off for a week. No one could really get anywhere to do anything. I was actually uh, working at the airport at the time, and we was out uh, shoveling vans out of snow for a couple of days. And Flights were grounded, especially at UPS, and cost businesses millions of dollars around the city. In fact, UPS, with its huge new investment in our airport, told the city and state, get your act together. The company wasn't happy. Louisville broke the record for an all-time low temperature of minus 22 degrees, and Shelbyville set a record low temperature for the entire state at 37 degrees minus. The temperatures dropped so low that even the Ohio River froze. Check out this incredible footage of the Bell of Louisville frozen in place. Water mains bursting all over the city. Ice causing power lines to fall and then catch fire and space heaters were being overworked to the point of catching fire. Miserable is an understatement. It was freezing rain, followed by 16 inches of snow, followed by temperatures more than 20 degrees below zero. It was a winter storm that Kentuckiana would never forget. It's why we remember the winter storm of 94 every year, now 29 years later, like it was yesterday. From the WHAS 11 vault, Doug Prophet, WHAS 11 News.